What's up everybody, Go Burns here, giving you my take, my review of Grand Theft Auto Online Next Gen for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And I'm going to lie to you right now and tell you that this is boring. It's absolutely boring. It's no fun. <laughs> Whatever, right? Oh man, I absolutely love Grand Theft Auto Online on Next Gen. And the truth is, I was kind of starting to get a little bored with the last gen version of online. It's still fun, though, whenever you play with friends, okay? That's one of the strong points of Grand Theft Auto Online, is when you got friends and crewmates to goof around with, race with, do missions with. That's the big highlight. That's how you really enjoy playing Grand Theft Auto Online. But when you're playing by yourself... <laughs> I know that didn't sound right, but sometimes it happens, right? You're grinding missions, or you're just driving around, uh, just adventuring on your own. You do kind of get bored, especially since it's been a while since Rockstar's given us an update, a new DLC. But there is just so much to say about Grand Theft Auto Online on Next Gen, and so many of you have already been watching my videos, and you've seen how much fun I've been having. Now, we're going to talk about the pros, we're going to talk about the cons, and yes, of course, spoiler alert, this is definitely worth getting on Xbox One, our PlayStation 4, along with Grand Theft Auto V. Don't forget Story Mode, that is an epic campaign, plus it's Grand Theft Auto, and Rockstar always makes awesome quality content. So, yeah, on top of Grand Theft Auto V, because that's not what we're reviewing here. We're not reviewing the campaign, the story. We're going into online. Now, let's start off with everything I like about Grand Theft Auto Online next gen. First person option. That's right, your ability to switch between third and now first person. It looks fantastic. I have enjoyed playing it. I'm trying to get better at shooting in first person, but I am improving at driving in first person, and that's something I really do enjoy doing in Grand Theft Auto Online in free mode. It's just hop in one of my cars, uh, switch it to first person, drive around Los Santos, or hit the highway, and just drive around Blaine County. It's just so much fun. You get lost, especially with all the new music. 150 new songs added to the radio stations. Oh, man, you can really kill some time just driving around Grand Theft Auto Online in first-person mode, especially if you're in one of your supers or a sports car. And it's going to be very appealing for anyone that's in the first-person games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, Destiny, Borderlands, etc. Next, of course, the improved graphics, 1080p, 30 frames per second, but it still looks good. Awesome draw distance improvements. Of course, there's a lot more detail on the maps. And, of course, on both consoles. Now, some people say the PlayStation 4 looks a little bit better than the Xbox One. But, to be honest, I really haven't noticed much of a difference. They're both equally enjoyable to play on. So, no need for an Xbox versus PlayStation War here. I think Grand Theft Auto Online is great on both consoles. But there are a few differences we'll get into in a few minutes. Now, the next pro we're going to talk about actually ties back to what we were discussing a moment ago. The fact is, Grand Theft Auto Online is at its best when you're playing with others, be it friends or crewmates. Now, what's really cool about Next Gen is they've upped the lobbies from 16 to 30 players, plus Rockstar has already made some 30-player races, death matches, LTSs, and captures for you to enjoy. Then we go into the uh, improvements to the creator tool, which you can create your own races, your own death matches, LTSs, and captures. And yes, you can have up to 30 players in all those jobs, plus new props to add to the creator, and you can put twice as many props in all your jobs now. So that is really awesome. Next, tying into all the creator stuff is the improved, updated character creator really does allow you to customize your Grand Theft Auto online character way more than last gen's version. And of course there's various facial features to choose from, plus hair, eye colors, plus even more colors and options over at the barber shop later on. So yeah, you can definitely add a lot of distinctiveness and uniqueness to your Grand Theft Auto online character now. The next pro is of course tons to do and experience for all the new gamers. That's right, if you're new to Grand Theft Auto online, 
you're going to be in for a world of fun. There's just so much to do in this game. You can free mode. You can rob convenience stores, armored trucks. You can go parachuting, racing, do survivals, death matches, races, LTS captures. Just goof off if you want. Carry out mayhem, death, and destruction on NPCs and cops or other players in free mode. I mean, the possibilities are almost limitless. You can buy vehicles, property, clothing, weapons. You know, as long as you... Uh, continue to rank up of course but if you're a veteran that's been playing Grand Theft Auto Online for a year now on last gen Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 you're probably wondering well what's in it for me I know all about this stuff I've been there done that but see Rockstar has added a lot of new things not just the first person mode option which gives Grand Theft Auto Online a whole new experience <laughs> not just the 30 player lobbies along with some 30 player races death matches LTS's and captures but also exclusive content just for you not to mention the ability to transfer over your last gen character so if you ranked him or her up to say level 50 or 150 on the Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 you can bring him or her over to next gen of course and Rockstar has been working on that issue and I think they just about got it resolved now so there isn't really much of a problem there and if there is Rockstar will get it solved that's nothing I'm too terribly concerned about but the point is not only are you able to bring your character over from last gen you're also going to get some exclusive items to get like the hatchet melee weapon the Dukes, the Stallion, the Ballista Compact, those three new rides, the Kraken Submarine, the Marshall Monster Truck, the Dodo Seaplane, and so much more. For example, I found a couple of OG original gangster shirts at the uh, stores that returning players can get for free, by the way. Two colors, black and white, four shirts total. Pretty cool. Two of them say OG and the other two say original gangster. So, you know, it's a little something something. Plus, at Los Santos Customs, if you go in the horn section, you can get the sad trombone for your ride. Speaking of LS Customs and vehicles, Rockstar also added neon kits for your rides, which is also another pro, along with different walking styles for your character, which I think is really cool because you can add a little bit more individuality to uh, your character where you want them to walk normal tough guy gangster posh or femme <laughs> more customization to the iFruit phone that's right you can change up the background and of course the theme and the snapmatic section it takes even better photos than ever and you may have noticed some of the photos I've been posting in this video before and afters last gen snapmatic photos I've taken versus next gen and wow there is a huge difference <laughs> Another big pro is the settings section in Grand Theft Auto Online. You have the ability to change the field of view, the controller settings. Say if you're more used to uh, Call of Duty or Battlefield controllers, you can now switch it up from that, even though I personally prefer Grand Theft Auto uh, settings on my controller. But hey, to each their own. And there's many more settings for you to look over and choose from. And of course, now we get to the small difference between the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, and it's regarding the controller, which is a pro for PlayStation 4. For example, that light on the PlayStation 4 controller flashes red and blue whenever you're wanted by the cops, and whenever uh, somebody's talking to you on the phone or you're looking through your iFruit phone, you hear sounds through the little speaker built in on your controller, as well as the police chatter. So that's pretty cool. It's a small thing. But I think it's really cool for everybody that has a PlayStation 4. Even though, personally, I prefer the Xbox One controller because, for one thing, I prefer AA batteries over having to recharge your PlayStation 4 controller over and over again. It just seems like AA's last a little bit longer. And I'm just more accustomed to the Xbox controller because of years of playing games on the Xbox 360. But like I said, Grand Theft Auto Online is equally enjoyable on both consoles, the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Now we get to the cons. Yes, there are cons in this review, as with all my reviews, but I'll try to keep it brief, so don't hate. <laughs> I know we've gone over nine minutes so far, but anyways, for one thing, no new properties in next-gen version of Grand Theft Auto Online so far, plus uh, no new interiors for apartments, and we can still only own up to two properties, which means up to 20 vehicles. I was definitely hoping that we'd get a three-property max in next-gen, but maybe the That'll come sooner or later. One thing I was also looking forward to was looking at new wardrobe, but alas, we did not get new clothing, except for the OG shirt.
shirts I mentioned, but those were probably just exclusive for returning players. Then, of course, they tweaked the Jason mask. That's right, the Jason hockey mask. I saw that in a video Delirious did. That kind of sucks. I wonder if New Line was threatening to sue them, or did Rockstar get threatened by Jason? <laughs> the next con. It's not as alive as Grand Theft Auto V Story. Well, what I mean by this is there's no wildlife, and there's no flying jets, you know, down at the airport, like those big 747-type uh, commercial jets. You can't steal them because they're not there in online. And, of course, there's none of the DLC cars being driven around by NPCs. Next, the character creator is awesome, but it should always be accessible, and the sad reality is it's not. Even if you had to go and get, quote-unquote, plastic surgery and pay between, what, $50,000, $100,000 to go and... Uh, tweak your character, change him or up a little bit. I think it would be worth it. I think a lot of people would be willing to spend a few bucks to have the ability to go to, say, the hospital or back to the police station in order for you to be able to go back and continue to tweak, update your character, if you so wish to. But FYI, if you're just coming to Grand Theft Auto Online Next Gen, and once you get to that upgrade screen to customize your character, take your time. <laughs> Trust me. Next, of course, is regarding the snapmatic section which is really cool because you have a lot more options there and it looks way better as you may or may not have noticed however you have to basically manually update your pictures I mean upload them to snapmatic so yeah they no longer automatically go from your Xbox your PlayStation to the Rockstar Social Club account you have to manually do it and it's not too difficult you just uh, go in and just select the one you want and just say upload it you know, ask you do you want to upload it and you say yes and of course the next thing regards the stallions you, you may or may not have known this one was coming but come on rockstar you need to make it to where we can pick out which stallion we want the uh, convertible soft top or hard top and finally rockstar should have given last gen something anything just so they don't feel like they're being left out or backhanded or kicked to the curb whether it was just a vehicle or some, some new clothing hell we didn't even get new clothing in next gen so <laughs> there you go but the really good news is heist is finally coming out soon for all platforms soon as in hopefully before the end of the year not soon as in spring 2015 or fall 2015 <laughs> i guess we'll just have to wait and see right but overall grand theft auto online on next gen is fantastic it's phenomenal and it's just so much fun and there you have it my review regarding grand theft auto online on next gen playstation 4 and xbox one it's awesome <laughs> If you agree with my review and are found this video informative, hit the like button and let me know below in the comment section what is your thoughts, your views, your opinions regarding Grand Theft Auto Online Next Gen for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Check out my channel for awesome content seven days a week. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button because each and every subscription helps my gaming channel grow. You can like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, both linked in the description section. Have a fantastic weekend and as always... Thanks for watching.